Hi Scorpio, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, welcome back and thank you for stopping by. So Scorpio, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, life, and advice for you for the bonus reading for March. My intention with this is if your monthlies didn't resonate with you, uh, maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates. may not be for everybody. can be past, past, present, or future. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter. Male or female watching, doesn't really matter. So Scorpio, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, personal reading information, and also the pinned top comment. So please check that out. And if you're also still interested in entering the 10,000 subscriber giveaway and appreciation of that, uh, you can win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me. Also check the description box and the pin top, top comment for that. And also if you head on over to the community tab of my channel, I have two polls. Would love it if everyone would participate. Um, if you would like to, what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo and also I may or may not be continuing these bonus readings. So please give me feedback leave me some comments or I may change it to elemental bonus readings fire air earth fire air earth and water for the month so let me know what you think all right Scorpio let's see what's going on in life for Scorpio welcome everybody hope everybody's doing well <clears throat> what's going on for Scorpio all right, Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. In love, spirit, thank you. In love. We get one card for Scorpio, please. Film, that's two. Oh, I'll take that one. Whoops. And it says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So needing to trust your heart here and something. With a soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So this has to, uh, to do with the soulmate. So we'll see what that's about once we pull the tarot. So listen to your heart about the soulmate, Scorpio. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some life. What's going on in life could... Be about love could be general could be about anything all right this is shuffle let's get one good shuffle please for scorpio thank you all right scorpio in life what's going on and scorpio for life spirit please thank you wow okay <laughs> that went flying what do we have well we have the eight of autumn parrot here it's a perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So working hard on something here, going either back to school or just learning something new or studying online or just reading books for knowledge to gain more information here. So what else? So we have the Queen of Summer. That is your energy. Queen of uh, Cups, compassionate, loving, caring, psychic. It's a this is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. So again, this is listening to your gut, your intuition, and how you're knowing. Some of you could be spiritual leaders, working hard on that, mastering new techniques, crafts. Um, things of that nature, but also remember to take care of yourself. So, and it could be something emotional here too, or just having a deep sense of calm, peacefulness, serenity, happiness, contentment. I feel like you're floating on water, <laughs> floating on air. All right, let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you, Scorpio. Let's get some advice for you, Scorpio. This bonus reading. All right, I'm feeling that one. Awakening ancient wisdom. Wow. Deep inner knowing is emerging within me. So this is like here, this is like the Ace of Cups here of that spiritual 
connection of ancestors and passed over loved ones, past life knowledge and experiences, divine connection, intervention. Wow. And on the bottom here, receiving from, I cannot make this up. Wow. Receiving from angels, shimmering wings of angels, embrace me with love. So just know you're divinely guided, protected from your angel team, your um, spirit guides, your ancestors. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. From in, uh, I'm also getting um, Ascended Masters and that kind of energy also. Wow. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio. A lot of love and protection around you from all this energy. All right. I think they keep you closely, closely guarded and protected also. All right, so let's clarify all this energy for you, Scorpio. I'm seeing the heart there, so just listen to your heart also. <clears throat> Do what you feel is right deep within your heart. All right, I'm not taking that because I didn't ask. So spirit, please, what is this in love for Scorpio and the soulmate and trusting their heart? Seven of Coins, yeah, about investing in a soulmate here. Or maybe you have invested in the past, or should you keep investing in this soulmate? So listen to your heart, do what feels right. Should you or should you not keep investing in a soulmate connection here? Maybe you've been waiting for some of you. Magician about manifesting this new beginning with the soulmate. <laughs> should I invest in manifesting in this soulmate connection. Wow. The star. This is divinely guided energy. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, and healing energy. Wow. This is a divinely guided soulmate. You want to manifest this with this, but you need to listen to your heart about whether or not you want to invest. Something, something here, you're wondering if you should or shouldn't invest in it, though. So why is that energy here? Yeah, uh, the nine of wands. So something here, it's been a struggle, a battle, a fight here uh, with this soulmate. So maybe they've been a little, it's been a little challenging, this connection. But things can go in a better place here with the six of swords. So you're either going to move on from this person and find your, your peace, your balance, your healing energy, going to a calmer, safer place if it's been a very long, hard struggle and fight and battle with this person and whether or not you should keep investing. Some of you may move on with or without them. So that's the energy I'm getting. So it's up to you, whatever feels right for you, whoever's watching this, <clears throat> if you feel it's best to move on or best to move on with this soulmate, energy is up to you. So let's get one more. One more for Scorpio. All right, this one. The High Priestess. Again, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. May not be communicating with them right now. There may not be no communication. So you're wondering, okay, we're not communicating. I know the connection's there, but I don't know if I should keep investing in this. So some of you ultimately here it is definitely a soulmate energy it's divinely guided soulmate energy but for some reason it's been a very hard struggle with this person whatever that struggle was and now you're wondering i don't know if i should keep investing or if i should but we do have manifesting a new beginning going to a better place more healing balanced place but i feel some of you some of you do what you feel is right in your heart if it's you feel it's best to move on then you move on alone or if you try to move forward with them, or if it's feel if you feel like it's starting to go in a better place now with this person, it's starting to manifest, or there's been healing, um, it's starting to move forward, you know, then some of you will be moving forward with 
this person some without. So however that resonates for you, do what feels right for you. But it is a soulmate. It's divinely guided. All right. So what is this Queen of Summer in the Eight of Pentacles about for Scorpio? Please. Yeah, Eight of Coins. So you're working on Eight on the... Oh, wow. You got the Eight of Coins on the Eight of Coins. I can't make this up. I can't. Eight of Coins. So double working hard here. Mastering your craft. Putting in the dedicate, dedicated effort and the hard work. Making that judgment call final decision. Knowing what you need to do here. Knowing exactly, exactly. Clear mind here. Seven of Cups. So you might have been unclear at one time, having a lot of choices, options, decisions to make here. But I feel like with judgment, you finally just decided, okay, this is exactly what I need to do, what I need to work on, what I need to study, uh, where I, you know, I need to move forward in making that judgment the final decision. And choosing one path, one cup here, out of all these other cups. Yeah, having strength, courage, being brave, inner willpower, and going after what you want. A lot of passion, drive, and ambition now. Working on that, putting in the efforts to this fiery, passionate new beginning here. Could be a new endeavor, business, uh, idea, um, or something like that. So definitely some of you could be being, you know, entrepreneur uh, or something like that here. Finally getting that strength to go on this new journey. Yeah, new journey. And as I say new journey, look what fl flies out here. So spirit confirming that, resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in, being very strong, courageous, and brave, and jumping into this fiery, passionate new endeavor project entrepreneurship, whatever it is here, making that judgment call, choosing what options are best for you and double working hard here and being in your element here with the queen of water energy, being in your element, Scorpio. All right. So what is this awakening? And it could be for some of you in the spiritual field of some kind, because we have angels and ancestors here and living in this energy of the palace of cups. Wow. Which is water energy which is your energy so living in a pace place of just total f feeling of compassion and love and happiness and joy and uh feeling your emotions and being stable in your emotions and being very content i'm getting like very content emotionally content happy loving caring nurturing giving wow kind of energy Pure, like pure love with this big old couple up here from your spiritual team around you. All right. Divine energies, ancestors, angels, spirit guides, ascending masters. Wow. Jesus, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The whole nine yards, Scorpio. <clears throat> All right. What else for Scorpio? Seven of Wands. You fought hard for this fought hard for this. Maybe, you know, if you do have gifts, maybe some of you kind of fought it off at one time in your life. Like you said, I don't want this. I don't want this, you know, but now maybe you're standing up and defending it. Being very fiery and passionate about it. Three of ones. So waiting patiently here for some ships to come in. It's like you keep, you wait. <laughs> it's like you wait to hear like, the messages from above, from those ancestors, angels, this is you just kind of waiting, receiving <laughs> messages, um, kind of energy. Yep, being emperor, empress of your domain here. Some of you becoming an entrepreneur, owning, working for yourself, owning your own business. The devil. Oh, we do have toxic energy here, though. What is the devil about? the wheel oh some of you though don't get too caught try to stay in this palace of cups energy and don't get caught up in fortunes of the wheel like all this divinely guided energy you could have a windfall come at you money abundance 
and now you may get a little, uh, try not to get too egocentric here, caught up in the money and the monetary and the material things with that devil energy. Yeah, because some of you are going to be very, very successful here with the Six of Wands, receiving a lot of attention, maybe, you know, start to go to your head here. Eight of Cups, so... Chariot, things are going to move fast. Eight of Cups here, so walking away from something but going to something more fulfilling. So you're heading towards your... in your Chariot and heading towards being very stable and grounded and abundant and being independent. But you need to watch your energy that you don't leave this energy of being humble. So I think you're going to need to watch that energy, especially the Six of Wands here and the Devil and the Emperor and the Empress, because this Emperor looks a little, uh, you know, full of himself. So just kind of be careful of that energy as this all moves forward for you, Scorpio. Well, Scorpio, okay, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.